Hey, hello everybody, welcome to the sound test room. Today we are taking a look at Spacecraft, FAC Envolver, uh, Rosetta LFO and uh, some some drums and things. Now I'm going to uh, um, start an initial project in a second, show you how to set all this up from scratch. So you have an idea of how, how, how it works and how you can set different things up. Okay, so uh, first of all, we have a uh, a couple of spacecraft here working in the effect slot. That's how they work in AUM and also a matrix spacecraft. You have to open it in the effect slot. Okay. So, and although it's an AUV3, uh, I can only load two of these. So it's not really been pushed as an AUV3, but as a granular synthesizer, but it does work in the effects. So also here we have LF, uh, a Rosetta LFO, and that's controlling certain parameters in spacecraft. Okay, but I'm going to show you how to set this up. Otherwise, it'll get really confusing. But it sounds like this when we've done. This is the uh, Rusemake FM with a... It's changing pattern, but I'll set that up as well. So that's what we're going to do. So I already have this saved, so I'm gonna clear that. And to make sure we're doubly certain that nothing else is gonna start freaking out, I'm gonna open a new AUM here. Okay, any second now, here we go. Right, so first of all, in the effects slot here, we want to go audio unit extension and we want to find a spacecraft and there it is. Okay. And then we'll do again, we'll do this audio unit extension. We'll go down and find spacecraft. All right. Okay. If I try and open another one now, it won't open and I'll have to thingy, but don't know why. Right. So, you can put your own sounds into spacecraft, but I am just going to use these. This is purely for time, okay? So as soon as we start to play, okay, and we'll do the same with this one. However, with this one, I'm just going to use the second sample because you get two sets of samples and two sets of controls for each spacecraft okay so but i'm going to leave that one quiet because it's the same as this one and i'm going to use this one and now it's running in the background quite happily enjoying itself okay so next i'm going to set up a rosetta lfo and i'm going to do that here audio unit uh, sorry <clears throat> audio unit extension and we go down to find the Rosetta Suite. Now, all of these are PEG baseline, uh, all the way down to where it says Rosetta XY. These are all part of one app. It's the Rosetta MIDI Suite, so you don't have to buy each one of those separate. It just they just come as a complete thing. Now, I'm going to use uh, the Rosetta LFO here. Now, I don't need to worry about routing these to that at the moment. What I'm going to do now, and this is this is the important part, <laughs> okay to get the Rosetta LFO to work, so that there it is. So you have three, but you because it's AU, you can open two of these, three of them, four of them, doesn't really matter. Important things to remember, we've got 13, uh, CC 13, 15, and 17. We can change these down to 14, and then we can do that 15, so it just keeps it easier in our head, okay? Just make sure that you're not assigning any other uh, control changes or controls to any other thing that you've got there, anyway. That's that. So 13, 14, and 15, that's important to remember. Okay, here, we wanna tap on this here, and we're gonna to go to MIDI control, tap on that, and then we're gonna tap on MIDI sources, and we're gonna choose LFO MIDI out. 
That's all we need to worry about for that, okay? As long as in MIDI control, LFO, and if if you've got other LFOs, there'll be two or three of them there, whatever, you know. And there we have channel one, two, and three. Now, we know channel three is the LFO. Don't need to worry about that. In channel one, we know is spacecraft for now. So parameters, spacecraft, it says parameters there. And also, I know that the way this works is these are all your controls for spacecraft, all your mappable controls. And it says, do not modify, don't modify. Don't worry about that. It's just that there's nothing there to modify. And then sequence one is your other sequence inside a spacecraft. So like I say, this is sequence one and that is sequence, sorry, for MIDI purposes, this is sequence zero and that's sequence one. All right, just so we know. Right, so we can go back, MIDI control, channel one, parameters for spacecraft. And we are going to use step z sequence zero because that's what we've got. Now we've got the, if we go down to the bottom, main panel X, main panel Y, so X and Y, we're going to do this. We're going to select that like this. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Channel one parameters, and we're going to choose this one. And this little thing will pop up here, okay? Now, CC, we want it to be CC13 because I want my first LFO to control. Uh, I want my first parameter controlled by uh, CC13. We're going to switch that on, okay? And then the range here, we can, sorry, we can move the range to not so vast as that. Right. So what we've got now is if we... Have to press play okay we can change the shape And the range. And we can modulate this as well. And the rate. So for this one, which is channel two, we can do the same thing. Okay, so we can assign, let's go channel two this time, parameters, spacecraft. But remember that this time we're on sequence Z1. Okay, and then also we'll have it played by LFO, uh, like CC13. Like this, and we'll switch it on. Don't worry about these little warning signs. Okay, so what we're going to do now is add two effect slots, and in each of these effect slots, we're going to put an FAC Envolver. Now, FAC Envolver will do a lot more than I'm getting it to do here. I just like want it for the gate effect. Uh... <laughs> okay. Now we can drop those out a sec. Let's open this first one. And where it says in it, I'm just going to go down here and, and find where it says four to the floor for this. 
And I'm going to leave that on 1.8 resolution. You see the resolution there, 1.8. You can choose it. What well, I'm going to choose it. I'm going to leave that on 1.8. Okay. And then I'm going to go to the second one here. And I'm going to choose, again, the preset, just four to the floor. I mean, you can do also snap to beat or whatever, but four to the floor works well for this. Or you can experiment with all different ones, you know. You can get involved to do all sorts of cool stuff. Oh, sorry. And then I'm going to set this one to 30 second notes. Okay. And the effect that this will create now, we don't even have to have that running, but what will happen now is... So you're creating some wild, like, rhythm machine. And if we run it, because we're running the LFO on Spacecraft now. So let's just do this quickly. Let's set up two more things here. For this one, we're going to use a, a Roosemaker FM. Here and in this one, I'm going to set up a Rosetta rhythm. Okay, I'm going to open this and root the FM2 Rosetta rhythm. Okay, so we're sending MIDI out and into Rosetta rhythm, and Rosetta rhythm is going to control um, this. So at the moment, we're on bass drum, it's completely blank. We can hit this and hit generate, or we can just um, we could start adding beats in, you know. So let's add four on the floor here. That kind of thing. We could go to our snare drum. And it, this is a Euclidean sequencer. Okay, so it's it's a bit different. But let's go to our snare. Where's our snare? Is that it? SD? And let's add two beats. But they're on the wrong step. See, so we want to move the shift along. And we could do the same in hi-hat. Now, what we could do now is copy and then paste. And on this next one, we could add some, uh, I don't know, low toms. And these mid toms. Now, I want this to move backwards and forwards between that one and this one. So for one, I'm going to go to where it says manual change, and I'm going to go to hit that go to next, and it'll say trigger after four loops. Let's set that to two, and let's go to number two, go to manual change, and then just Go to first after two. Here you go. And then after two, it'll go back to this one. Backwards and forwards, backwards and forwards. And then for some added, added excitement, we could add, uh, like I added, I don't know, what what's that what, what I added? Oh, I added um, Cosmonaut. We could do some let's do some cool stuff with that. That sounds quite nice actually. Now, if we want to, now if we want to, we can start applying other parameters that we can control with LFO. Or maybe we could use a different LFO, like what we were on um, 13 foot. We could try number 14 for this next one. So let's do that. And we'll do it on channel one. Not FAC involved, we want spacecraft. And we'll do the step grain. 
for channel like for step sequence zero and what did i say 13, 14 i can't remember Hang on. 14 CC14, switch it on for channel one. Hear that? So there you go, guys. There, there's how you can just basically go mad and do all sorts of very cool stuff with the LFO. How to set it up, choose the parameter, make sure you're on the right parameter. Uh, you have, I mean, like I said, you have three of these. You could now apply something to, like, so you've got all this running now, but we can tempo sync both of those, change the shape of that to sort up. And these are for... Modulate it a bit, set the range a bit bigger. Switch them off anytime we want. very cool it's very very cool beans listen guys thank you for watching i hope that helped out um yes 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 okay i'll put links in for all of this stuff in the description of the video if you liked it give it a thumbs up um subscribe to the channel consider becoming a patron that's real important now and uh yeah brilliant i'll see you guys later